again down the centre of the course, coming on electric finish. Do it again. He's coming at Rainbow Bridge. He's a board leader and he will do it again. Great pleasure to welcome uh, trainer Dean Canamare to the show. He has five runners at Hollywood Bets Gravel on the turf track on Sunday. Headed possibly by Lion's Head, but we'll get to Lion's Head a little later on. Dean, welcome to the show. Thank you for your time. Graham, thank you. Thanks for having me on. Well, let's kick off with the first race. You saddle number four, Miss Paloma. Now, of the raced runners in this uh, field, there's very little to choose between Miss Paloma, Bella's Fortune, and Soweto Hall. They all came together in their last run behind uh, Princess Keller, and only half a length covered them. But there are a few well-bred first-timers, including the favourite, number two, I'm ready. But focusing on your runner, how's she done since her last run? Uh, Grab now, she came to her last run well. Uh, she made the improvement from one run to another. And, you know, she's a tiny bit belly. Uh, and, uh, you know, if she can go out there and she can run the first, I'll be pleased when she can run. So I wouldn't leave out the exotics. Uh, and I think she is improving. And uh, but we're not going to go to Hollywood with her. I'm a 50% shareholder in China, but uh, nevertheless, uh, yeah, putting out exotics, that's what I think. Okay, so that's in the first race, uh, which happens to be the first leg of the bipod. Moving on to race three, which is the first leg of the pick six. Yeah, you saddle number seven, Young Ideas, a daughter of the very exciting Global View, who was champion freshman sire last season, which ended on the 31st of July. But fair to say that she'll need to improve a bit on those last two runs. Is she heading in the right direction? I think she is heading in the right direction. I think the pen is starting to drop. She's starting to improve. Uh, if you notice her last run, she was badly drawn and would drop her right out of it. Uh, and she did make a blind up the straight. And uh, it, was, it was encouraging run. So she is improving with every run. I won't be surprised to see this filly go over more. I, I just dropped a note now to the partners. And I won't be surprised to see this filly get 2,000 meters as she strengthens up. Also, a filly that. Uh, you must exotics. Okay, so certainly one to, to consider for the quartets. But now we move on to race four, uh, which is the second leg of the pick six and the first leg of the first jackpot. It's a maiden plate for three-year-olds over 1,400 metres. Uh, you've made no secret in the past when we've interviewed you that uh, the son of Dynasty, Lion Z, is a nice type who will relish going further. He gets a little bit more ground on Sunday. He goes 1,400 metres after two pipe openers over 1,200 metres. He's got very good form. Uh, is he going to be tough to beat? I, 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 yeah, I don't really know how good the opposition is in up and coming horses, but uh, I think, yeah, I would, I, I, I would be, I would say that uh, he's going to be the horse to beat. I think he's a horse that's got lots of potential. And last time, you know, he, 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 he hit the front and, uh, and, and started to drift to the outside looking for company and got really hit by Warren Marshall's horse which has been a very nice family. So I think, uh, you know, nicely drawn, 1400 in the grass should suit him. Uh, he's also going to go for more ground, but he's got tremendous natural speed. So uh, I think he's, he's got to be uh, a very, very competitive runner. And uh, as the others are, I say, look, he's cutting while he had his final work out this morning. Very happy with his work. Okay, that's great. So he comes into the race in good form, having his third start in good shape, expecting a big run. Right, race five. Now, this uh, is a handicap, and you saddle number one, Dutch Alley, who has been priced up favourite, surprisingly enough, maybe, uh, in your view. But uh, he's certainly got the form. He's got the consistency on his side. He uh, seldom runs a bad race. But having said that, he's been priced up favourite. They are betting five to one the field. Are you drawn in pole position? Can we expect another honest run? Graham is a very honest horse. He's done exceptionally well for, for the syndicate. And uh, he's, gone up, he's gone up in the weight. Uh, and have you noticed that all his wins have been on the poly over 14 I was going to ask you about that because obviously he's yet to win on the turf. So what are you expecting? Well, I've always been having an opinion. You know, I've had horses that have completed successfully on both tracks and both surfaces, the poly and the grass. And uh, so, but I've just noticed that his best friends have been in the party. I do believe this is a very, very open race. I think it's a stronger race than last time. And I was pleased with his last round, but he just needed because the run before, 
get a slight setback and then uh, Cadence has lost Jonathan. They just need one run to bring into his feet and the yeah, and the giving gun ahead. Uh, so he loves the full team on a bit of trip. Uh, on the grass, I think he'll be okay, but it's quite a, I think it's quite an open competitive race. Well, I think that uh, the fact that they're betting five to one the field uh, in the early exchanges is uh, is an obvious indication that it's a very tough race to win. But all we can hope for is that he puts his best foot forward and runs his usual honest race. The last of your quintet of runners is number eight, Real or Ryle. To be honest, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this uh, daughter of Flower Alley's name. Uh, but she certainly ran a heart out last time out when second to Diamonds and Pearls. That was on the poly track over 2,000 meters. She steps back to the turf and comes back in distance uh, 300 meters to 1,700. But she's always there and thereabouts, expecting another very competitive run. And very much about uh, 1,700 meters will suit her. She's performed very well on the grass. If you can look at her cat form, she's, she's really performed well. Uh, you know, it hasn't been easy for her, uh, you know, with the 90 rating, but she put up the radio set the last time, and I really do think the 70 number grass no problem will suit her. Uh, she's doing well, doing very well this study, and uh, she should be a very competitive run over. Okay. okay, so hopes are high for a positive run from Ryle in race number 16. As always, thank you for your time, thanks for your contribution to our show, and we wish you well at Hollywood Bets Gravel on Sunday. Thank you very much. Cheers.